have turned six years old. Tonight, a local mom remembers her son who drowned this summer, but she's now doing it with a new hope for the legacy of the boy who dreamed of becoming a firefighter. New at 10, Lexi Suter talked with this mom about her new goal. Five years is not long enough for him. He should have been here a lot longer. Margie Ferguson is living a mother's worst nightmare. Hurt, anger. You like to have you. Um, I, I just think that it's such a waste because I think he would have been a great person. In July, her five year old son, Gene, drowned in a pond just 100 feet from the family's front door. Officials say Gene's autism caused him to wander off and ultimately leading to his death. He liked water, um, but I think he fell in the lake because he didn't like dirty water. Ferguson believes that Gene's death could have been prevented. She says if there would have been a fence around this lake, he'd be here today celebrating his sixth birthday. And that's why she's taking his story to Jefferson City. Get somebody in, in politics to back me and do Gene's law that they have to put um, they have to put fences around things like this. Ferguson is pushing for a change, one that will protect families who have children with special needs. This pond is not a part of her property, and she says she asked the owner to put a fence around the water multiple times. Things can happen. I don't care how old they are. You know, kids do silly things. You know, they don't have to necessarily have autism. Jean's absence is still very fresh, and grieving is her first priority. He's everywhere in the house because. I don't want to clean anything in the house. I don't want his fingerprints washed off of anything. But soon she'll fight because she doesn't want anyone else to have to live without their little boy. Gene would have been here today. Lexi Suter, 41 Action News.